Sam Dolls. I just wanted to pop on. I hope everyone's having a fabulous evening. Um, so tomorrow I have a new video going up on the special palette I got in on Monday but didn't have a chance to film until last night and just got it edited so that'll be going up tomorrow by the way it's the Jeffree Star blood sugar palette so you'll definitely want to watch that well tonight I went over to Sephora well my Sephora hasn't had this specific palette in stock they sold out of the first 250 that they got last week and I ended up getting it this week so I got the ABH soft glam palette finally and I also got the Amrezi ABH highlighter I could not wait to get this it's so gorgeous and then while I was in line I saw these cute little Sephora $10 palettes that were actually swatched really really good so I just wanted to show you guys those real quick but mostly just these two babies so first we will do the highlighter because I could not wait to get this. Um, it is Miss Amrezi, if you don't know who she is. Um, she is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl on Instagram. Um, super stunning and everything she does is just uh, thebomb.com. Like she is fabulous AF and I wanna be her when I grow up even though she's probably younger than me. But anyway, she teamed up with ABH and came out with this beautiful highlighter and I am absolutely in love oh you can't see the stars but there's little stars all over it and in like bronzy letters it says Anastasia Beverly Hills M Resi and then there's the back it's kind of like bronzy with you know all the info on it and <clears throat> dun 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 there is the highlighter. I know you guys have probably seen it all over lately. Let me just um, tone this light down. My ring light is just a tad too bright. So there it is. It is so stunning. And it's a beautiful champagne gold. It's champagne, but I feel like it pulls more gold. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch that real quick for you guys. Let me uh, take this crap off. There we go. So we'll go ahead and swatch this baby. Oh, look at that. It is so freaking gorgeous. Oh, I've seen it all over Instagram and I could not wait to try it. And I have a little bit of highlighter on, but we can go ahead and top it off. All that is like pretty much like gone anyway. Oh, mine's going to look all cakey though. That's okay. That's okay so gorgeous I can't wait to try this with a fresh face oh you know what I don't really have any on my nose so I really like it it's not very creamy it's definitely powdery more powdery than anything um, I have the Huda highlighter on already but we'll top that baby off with this so freaking gorgeous you guys look at that Oh, that's such a gorgeous glow. So this was, I think, like $25 or $28. Um, it is cruelty-free, of course. How many ounces? Are okay, so it is 0 0.31 ounces, which is not very much. I, at least, I don't think. It looks big, but the pan may not be very thick. But I don't know how much is standard for, like, one. Let me see what... Let me see, I have Fenty Beauty right here. Let's see what's in Fenty Beauty. 0.28, so maybe that is actually big. Let me see what another, I have so many highlighters in here, let me see. Let me see. Okay, so actually, so actually I take that back. 0.31 ounces for a highlighter is actually really good. All the rest of my highlighters say 0.28. So this is actually a really good size for a highlighter. It, once again, here's a final look at it. So gorgeous. I feel like this is very a very good color for anybody who is light to medium skin tone um, because it is very champagne-y, but it does pull a little more gold too, but I don't know, now that I have it on and not just swatched, it, I don't know, it's gorgeous. Look at that. This is my favorite color highlighter. 
ever. So now for the soft glam. Basically, I was trying to decide if I was going to get it because most of the colors that are in this palette, I already have. Um, but I am a collector of all the ABH palettes. I have them all, so it wouldn't be right not to have this baby too. The only thing is, just like the soft pink on Modern Renaissance, I feel like this is going to get disgusting dirty because even my dark ones on um on subculture is filthy prism is kind of dusty looking too to be quite honest so here it is and i like this one because i feel like this is a more like everyday girl type palette which is why i like it i feel like you can use this one every day and it has and it literally says an everyday tonight palette with 14 shades including essential mattes and glam shimmers now most of these we've already seen before actually i think almost all of them there's only a couple in here that i haven't seen and that's sultry and um bronze maybe rose pink too but like orange soda i've seen um i haven't seen fairy correct me if i'm wrong but we have tempura and dusty rose both of those oh and burnt orange and cypress umber and maybe even rustic are all in modern renaissance um orange soda i know that's one of the singles but i know like a lot of these colors are repeats in here but i didn't care because all of these in one palette are just so amazing so i'm gonna swatch these just really really quick um even though we've seen most of them so okay so we're gonna start with tempura and that is just a creamy white. There we go. God, it's not wanting to focus. Okay, then we're going to go to Glistening, which is beautiful. That is a lot more gold than I thought. Let me see. Oh, yeah, that does pull very gold. Then there is Orange Soda, which is one of my favorite, one of ABH's colors. I think that's one of everybody's favorites. God, I feel like this, um, I'm going to turn the lighting down. I feel like this formula has gone back to the modern renaissance okay. formula that we used to have. Um, or that was in the modern renaissance that we all like wish we had again. It feels like she's gone back to that. Now this is rose pink. I'm glad she finally listened. Look how gorgeous these are. They're very creamy. And then sultry. Sultry looks like it's going to be one of my faves. That's gorgeous. Ooh, these shimmers are gorgeous. Then we have bronze, which looks like a dark gold color. Oh, that's like a true gold. And then we have mulberry, which to me looks kind of like a, I don't know, if I can't tell in this light. It's like a red brown. To me, it's like a brick brown. I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely a brown with like a red undertone. Let me wash my fingers off. Then we have a dusty rose. I'm going to run out of room here in a second. So here's dusty rose. And then we have fairy. Let's see where are we at. There we go. Fairy. A lot of golds in this. Uh, then we have Burnt Orange, which we also have in Modern Renaissance, which is another color I really like. Then we have Sienna. I know we have this color somewhere, too. So there's Sienna. These colors are so good. I really feel like we've gone back to the formula that we all love. Um, what did I leave off? Oh, okay, Rustic is next. Oop, drop my palette. There is Rustic. 
And then Cypress Umber, which is also in Modern Renaissance. So most of us know what that one looks like. And I'll roll this up for one more. And then we have Noir, which is just black. I'm glad she put one in there, though. Like, this is the perfect... Ooh, this black is good. So this is the Soft Glam Palette. It's not the prettiest swatches, but there it is. And let's do, once again, another once over on the Gorgeous Palette. I really like this, and this is definitely one that is going to get a lot of use. And I think I'm going to like this a lot better even than Modern Renaissance. So, yay! Thank you, ABH, for listening to What Us Ladies Want, and Norvina for putting together such an amazing palette that is for the everyday girl. I think so many girls are going to get a lot of use out of this. <laughs> and you guys have totally redeemed yourselves. And just real quick, I'm not going to get into really swatching these, but I just wanted to show you these cute little palettes. If you're just starting off in makeup, these were $10 at Sephora. And Sephora eyeshadows are really not bad. They're actually pretty decent. So if you're just starting off in makeup and you want a good quality eyeshadow without breaking the bank, these mini palettes are $10. This one is the donut one. It's a little pinky one. And the brown one is the cookie one. And they're so cute. Um, let me show you. They ooh, come open like this. And there is that palette. And it's got a little guide for you. And there's shimmers once again. This lighting sucks. Have to keep turning down. There's shimmers and mattes in here. And same thing with the cookie one. Cookie is probably my favorite out of the two. So there is cookie. So cute this is. Um, so yeah, these are both gorgeous, cute little palettes. And they're $10 at Sephora. So yeah, go pick them up if you're wanting to, you know venture off into something um I know my gal at work was saying she's not really as into the the high-end makeup scene like I am but she's getting there so I think something like that would be good for those of you who are just learning and just venturing in so I just wanted to pop on real quick show you guys that mm. and I will be on in the morning with another video for you guys on the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. So see you guys tomorrow and you guys will definitely be seeing a look out of this very, very soon. All right. Bye guys.